Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Happy Friday. You can tell it's Friday because I got two coffee mugs on my desk. Um, today we're going to be learning Mauro Giuliani's Opus 50, number six. This is a really fun piece. Earlier in the week, I did a music theory run through. I put my performance of this piece up. Um, and in fact, I'm going to show you my performance here in just a moment. Um, but before that happens, um, I just want to say you can download the sheet music on musicandguitarlessons.com if you're a dojo member. We had a lot of fun hanging out yesterday on our Google Hangout, so check out my website. So without further ado, guys, we are going to take a look at this piece. Short and sweet, this piece is really fun. Um, I'm gonna bring up the sheet music on the screen. If you guys have any questions during the lesson, the, you know, the big reason this is live is because I want to see those questions in the chat so that we can cover them. Um, let me get this a little closer to my guitar playing hands here and resize my banner. As much as I like having that little advertisement there, it's not as important as the lesson quality. Okay, guys, here we go. So we're going to be starting in A minor, um, and you can, you know, you can look at this. This is in six eight. It's got two beats per measure, um, one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and uh, and it's got a pickup measure um, which consists of a quarter note or an and a. Uh, Right, so let's get that circle on top. Um, so here's our pickup measure, and then we're also going to be doing little grace notes. These grace notes are really cool. These are just little quick little pull offs. So we're going to be doing one from F to E, and then this next one here is from D to C, which is third to first, right? Aside from that, the vast majority of what we're doing here is. You know, first section is really the A minor slash A harmonic minor scale. Second section is going to be some arpeggios in C. And the last section is going to be more A minor arpeggio, et cetera, et cetera. So let's run through this real quick. So we're starting. Um, you'll see I have the, the finger M. It doesn't matter what, play, what note you play before that or what uh, finger you play that note before the M. Just make sure that you get an M before that. So I usually use my annular, but it's up to you. So I go A, M, and then thumb and annular for that pull off. Then we have M, I, and then thumb and annular, M, I, right? And then thumb index, middle index, um, and I use my thumb and index again, uh, middle ring, thumb, Sorry, let's let's actually change that to an index. Sorry, that's not what I want to do. Um, thumb and in the, the middle, then an index here, right? And then annular with a pull off, uh, middle index, and then I'm gonna actually do middle uh, thumb and middle. So let's actually just alter these just a little bit. Um, so if we have our M I there. Um, let's do thumb and middle here, and then thumb and ring here. Now the reason we might want to change that is because we want to have a, more of a strict alternation. So we have and then we'll get thumb and middle, ring and, and middle, and then ring and index. So we're just going to change this to middle too. 
making some updates live on air, but I think it's it's for a good cause. So here we go. Um, we have ring, middle, thumb, ring, middle, index, and thumb, and ring, middle, index, thumb, and middle, ring, middle, index, middle, ring, and then thumb and index, middle, index, thumb, ring, middle, index, and then we're doing thumb and middle, and then we're going to do our annular and middle again. Um, and that will give you a really nice, smooth way to go through the course. So let's go through this left hand now. So we're starting with the two open E's, right? And then our, our pull off is index to open. And then use your pinky for this D index. And then it's a pinky pull off to the index. And the, these pull offs, if you'll notice, I'm actually hitting the string here with my, with my pinky, right? Um, and then we're getting our open string, second fret, and then the G sharp is on the first fret of that G, open B, G sharp again, and then we have our um, two E's, F sharp, and then G sharp, because the, the sharp, again, it doesn't end until we get to the next measure. So this sharp applies to all the G's moving forward. It doesn't, it doesn't go away till the end of the measure. Then we start here again with the A minor scale, um, just going A's, open B, C, which is your first fret of the B, right? And then this pull off from D to C again, then open B, and then we have our A, and then here our E and G sharp. Um, and that's kind of the end of the first phrase, right? And of course, this F sharp and G sharp, if you watched the music theory part of this, um, which you can find on my channel, it, it's the melodic minor, the melodic minor scale. Okay, so when we go forward here, you're going to see that we have more or less a verbatim repeat here, except at the end. So we have the same thing going. Da, da, da. And here's where it changes. We have our E's and then um, D, C, A's, E second of the D, and then the third, the third fret of the A with your pinky and then your open A. So we have open, third fret of the B with the pinky, um, first fret of the B with the index, and then we're getting our second of the G and open A, second of the D, C here, um, which is third of the A, then our open A, right? Um, so it's more or less a, you know, a repeat of the first thing, but we're going to an E7 chord at the very end, whereas... Um, the last one, uh, we just went to an A, right? So we have this descending, ba -da -da, ba -da -da -da. the other one goes to a low E, and then it resolves at an A. So just a slight change between those two. Now we're moving on to the next section, which is C major. Now if you watched the, the music theory portion of this, um, you'll know that we use the note G as kind of a common tone to modulate. And this is going to require, require, require a lot of thumb, right? So we have C and E, thumb, thumb and ring, and then our thumb is going to get the, set, the second fret of the D with your second finger of the other hand, and then you're going to get thumb and index at the same time with your G and B strings, and then um, thumb and ring, right? So we have... So here, when you get when you go up here, um, you're going to be getting the same arpeggio with the C E G. But in, this time, when you get the the G, you're going to be doing an octave. So you're going to grab the high G with your your pinky, and you're going to play that with your thumb and middle of the right hand, right? And then you're going to go to a G seven chord in first inversions, and that's B D G, right? So we have second of the A, open D, open G. And then you're going to get also the first of the high E at the same time as that low B. So we have rum, and then we go to our D here, third of the B, with the same thumb arpeggio. And we go to our C and open E, so this is a resolution back to C. And we have a little downward scale of the C major scale above it. And we go to our F, which is our four chord of the C. And then the same downward scale, um, and then we go to a one which is our C major again in, for, in second inversion, and then a G chord. And we're going to be doing a variation right after that. Um, so when you get this F, right, we have 
third and second of the D and G string, an open E, and then third fret of the B. We go to the first of the B, third of the low E, um, second of the D, open G, and then we have our G, D, and B strings open, and then we get back to going into another variation, right? And this is our third fret of the high E. We have da, da, and this time you're gonna bring it into the C major chord, do that same kind of arpeggiation up, and then our open E and G here, and then we're gonna be doing thumb and index, da, da, da. So that's, that's uh, an arpeggio here, and then an arpeggio here. So we have, sorry. And so we go back to this G7 chord, and then this time when we get the open G, we're also going to grab the third fret of the B, so we kind of, last time we had the full arpeggiation, this time we get that D note at the, the third note of that triplet. Then we have B, second of the A, D, F, same notes from the chord, but um, thumb, index, middle, right? And then we have thumb, middle, index for a C chord, so third of the A, open E, first of the B. Then our low G, um, and then our D, open B. So third of the low E, third of the B, open B, and then our C is at an octave. And we have a open G, second of the D, third of the A. So we have third of the A, first of the B, open G, second of the D, third of the A. And we come back up to go back to the B again, right there, right? So we're actually going back into the A section. And the first part of the A section here is verbatim the first the first um, the first phrase. So we have <laughs> we go back into it again, and it's exactly the same again, except the very last note is a B rather than a C. That's the only difference. So we have. through this one step at a time. Um, you're getting A's at an octave. We're doing thumb and ring of the, the right hand. In the left hand, we're going to be doing um, our two middle fingers, right? So third finger on second fret of the G, second finger on second fret of the D. So we have thumb and ring, middle, index. And then we have our low E and open B, and the same two second fret of the D. That's going to be a kind of a pedal point here, right? And thumb and ring, middle, index. So open A and first fret of the B, and then open E and open B again. And then we're gonna change the, the arpeggio pattern. Now, um, this is something, I'm, I'm actually going to change the fingering a little bit here too. So what I like to do with this, I found that this part was actually a little bit tricky and I found out that um, it's much easier to get, so when you go thumb, middle, right at the same time and then index here on the D string and you grab your A, your A finger, your annular finger up on the high E, you can actually do a rest stroke and it's already rested against the B and then that means you can grab it two times. It's kind of like a rake, right? And then um, I would do thumb and middle for the A and the C. So this, this right here, so starting with this all the way to here, we're getting the A's at an octave, index, ring, rest, stroke to the next string and then you're going to get thumb and ring index ring and then thumb and middle index middle thumb and ring middle ring and then we're going to go up to those a's at an octave um here with our index but before we move forward from there because that last part is actually i think probably the fun one of the funner parts of the piece um i want to make sure i just run you through this one more time so we have this um a dumb the same chords from the, the previous section and then we have our A, first of the B, open A, second of the G, um, and then we're going to get our two open E's, then the pinky for that third fret of the B, our D, open B, and then our index comes up here for these at an octave, and then you're going to use your fourth finger to get this high A to the G sharp, A, and then open E, C, and then you're going to get your open A again, and then we have A, G sharp, A, E. C, A. And after that, we have a dotted quarter, so it, it holds out for that entire triplet. And then we have our E7 chord, 
and then after that, so the E7 is second of the D, um, third of the G, or sorry, fourth of the G, third of the B, and fourth of the high E, and then we get our A minor chord up here, which is just a half bar on the fifth fret with our open A string, so that's... Then we have our E7, and that is how you play that piece. This piece is a lot of fun, and it's, at, it, you know, it's a pretty short piece, too. Um, so, you know, it, it's one of those things that spend some time getting everything really clean here, guys. I had my video on how to use an abacus to practice, and this is a perfect piece for that. Um, you know, one, two measures at a time, get it five to ten good times, um, then move on to the next couple measures, really try to get those slurs very, very clean. I'm going to take a look at the chat and see how many folks we have, A, watching, and B, any questions? Um, it looks like everybody's pretty clear, so take a moment to type in a question um, while I play the uh, performance one more time for you guys, and then I'll, if you guys type in some questions, I'll answer them. If not, I will see you guys on Monday morning. of the piece it looks like we don't have any questions in which is good which means that everybody understands um, next week for the dojo members we're going to continue musical mornings till we finish out the workbook also uh, music and guitar lessons.com if you want to support me starts at two bucks a month um, I also have a $25 a month anything in between there um, the $25 a month one is real cool because you get a book as I complete them um, so with that being said thanks so much for your support guys Thanks for dropping in. This is a really, really fun piece of music, and I hope all of you sit down to, um, to uh, learn it. So see you guys on Monday.